Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl here again, Winnie Doc, with another video. And um, if this is your first time stopping by, you're most definitely welcome. If you're an OG, welcome back. <laughs> my people, I've never really drawn a story time on my channel before. And <coughs> this is quite embarrassing. And I just thought to share it with you guys. Yeah. Uh, without further ado, let's get right into this. Video. You got it all going on with your body. You got it. So, <laughs> this is a story time. So, um, during my LA times in Ukraine when I first came in medical school and um, school just started, you know, being a fresher, you're fresh, you're looking fine, you're looking snatched and all that shit. And then the guys are popping here and there, yeah, come on, they're fresh meat in quotes. So like everyone is like, they're hustling. But me, I have, have both from Nigeria, but they are pots. <laughs> So I knew how this tactic. I knew they gonna come flooding, but I was ready. At least I thought I was ready. <laughs> so there came along this fine looking young man. He's this speck of waters. We exchanged numbers, we got chatting over a couple of um, weeks and then he talked to hang out and then he proposed that we have go out on a date and I was like oh cool chill now <laughs> now yeah yeah we are this this is where the beginning of all the calamity started my friends so I told them oh I'm going out with this guy I know what I told them it's like they found out some way because I'm sure that most likely I would have not divulged such information to them the kind of person people they are like they used to hype and ginger everything you okay, know they know that i'm going out on the date and that's established that wow who oh, is this guy oh you like him yes even if you're not like him they're already telling you oh you like him you like him that's why you're blushing you're blushing no they'll be putting things into your head those girls so they were all talking and i was like okay maybe i mean this, this ain't gonna work out, this is something that will not happen but okay, what's the harm? Let's go out on a date and let's do this, yeah. And they're like, if you're gonna have this date, we are going to go out on this date, you have to dress well. You have to be looking smashed, you have to be looking this. And in my head, I'm like, I just came back, I just got to Ukraine. I wasn't a feminine woman in quotes back then, I was more tomboyish, thrown whatever I see. But just looking decent enough to go out, basically. I don't really put effort into my outfit. And they were like, impossible. You cannot go out and embarrass us. You cannot this. You cannot that. Hey, wait, whoa. This, this, that. After I'll blend plenty talk. Finally, I agreed. Okay, okay, okay. What the heck? We need friend for once. Change. You know, put some effort. Put some thoughts into this. Make some effort. Somebody is taking you out. Make it worth their while. And then I'm like, okay, let's do this. They set me up. Makeup, check. Outfits, double check. Shoe, check, check, check. Hair, uncle, on fleek. I was looking hella fine. And then the time for the date comes. You know, the dates, they set it up, they dress me up, they have arrived, we are all good, we are all looking cute, we are all looking fine. My uncle rolled up, picked me up, and when he saw me, first thing that came to his mouth, why did you dress up so much? Like, not in a derogatory way, he didn't say it to laugh at me, it's almost like he was shocked, and so the thing just dropped out of his mouth, like, almost immediately he was like, but you look gorgeous though, I really wish I put in more effort into my outfit. I've not listened to these girls. Like in my head, I was in chaos. I was like, should I just pull my shoe and start running now? Oh, let me disappear. Like I was dead embarrassed because my guy was wearing normal t-shirts. Color, you had color. I can't remember. Short sleeve, trousers. It's the most embarrassing moment. Honestly, how can I not remember? I shall know he was wearing shoes, I just don't know what type of shoe. I was embarrassed. He is the one that proposed it. Maybe he should have been the one who put more effort and then me, I put 
close to his effort and then we will now begin to see, oh, okay. So he doesn't get the wrong ideas that I'm obsessed with him. Yes, fine man, good. Check everything, it's nice, it's okay. No, no, nothing wrong with him. He's a dateable person, he's a marriageable person, whatever the case was. I don't know, I had not even come to that point yet. But then I wasn't going to make myself look desperate. I wasn't going to make myself look like this is not what I would want for a first date. If you feel me, like I was just my emotions were everywhere. I was just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh Jesus Christ. For the first time that I should have been looking rugged, where ruggedness looked matters. We are looking homeless matters. I don't know, I was just overly thinking the thing that was just like my head was just everywhere honestly and he, he didn't even give me time to run or do anything it was just it just held my hands i was like it looks so beautiful let's go and it took me to the car and we went we went to the um place the restaurant and we ordered something we were drinking and you know i just came here now i came to the country first time i've not really been to restaurants like that so i don't really know their food the food is different so i gingerly took the menu and ordered something that i recognized which is burger and chips with chicken wings so that is where the circle of harassment is in fact in my whole life up until now i have never been here. ah oh. This is this <laughs> this moment really gets to me honestly guys like <sighs> I have never formed my own hands the way I form my hands. <sighs> I ordered burger and chips. Can you guess what I did? I was I don't even know what I was thinking. But I, I know I was nervous. Knowing that I was overdressed. So I was beginning to think, what is he thinking of me? Does he think I'm desperate? Does he think um uh, I like him already. You see, like I, I, I was, I was head was just everywhere. I was just overthinking things. God knows what I was thinking, but I was thinking the worst of everything. And then burger came to front of me, and I was like, Hey, why did I order that burger now? Oh, I don't know. Should I use a burger knife? Or should I use my hand? Exactly. I was that. I was that out of it. Like. My normal self, able to me, I will not use book and knife for book. I like very rare occasion will I use book and knife. Like maybe my hand is dirty. Then what am I using? Like I, it, it's it's not something that's typically gonna happen. So I was like, I don't normally use book and knife to eat book. Should I? If you laugh at me, anybody that laugh, <laughs> hey God, this. It's my own embarrassing moment. Everybody has their own embarrassing moment. I am not sharing it with your own property. Well, if you laugh at me, come and judge you. So me, I was just sitting down there and deciding. His own meal came. Besides, maybe initially he thought I was waiting for him. That's why I just started eating my own. <laughs> and then I was sitting down there deciding, trying to decide if I want to use fork and knife or I want to use my hand to eat my burger. Hmm. So I started with chips. So I eat my hands with chips and it's my chips and sauce. Now it's time to eat poker. I don't know why they come to my mind that. Just suboy so this thing. Ask them to do it, take away for you. So you know embarrass your life and your generation to come. You know how embarrass your destiny. No. I look at myself and I say, God, don't be saying we have not gone on dates before. Which kind of a predicament did I put myself? So I pick up knife and fork. That was my final decision. And as I was about to cut, my nigga looked at me as like, Hanty, what are you doing? Why do you want to use fork and knife to eat poker? And I say it again, he wasn't even being derogatory. He was actually a cool guy. He didn't mean to mock me. He was just trying to let me know that I can use my hand. Like, do you normally, is it something you normally do? Or you're just tensed or what? Like, he was just trying to put me at ease because totally I could read his whole. I don't know, I read his countenance, but I still did not let it sink that. Yeah, babe, you should just relax. There's no big deal. 
But I guess it's the way I prepared for the dinner. They did hair, did makeup, did this. So I was so out of my essence. I was out of me. So I was I was just trying to fit into the model person that I was made into me. Not saying anything is wrong with dressing, but just make sure it's coming from you. Like make sure your your mindset is okay, your body is set. Did you get like I wasn't sure what to expect from the dates. Because I, I I I really haven't been to a date where I had to overdress to make up and everything. I just look cute and good. But I was looking high heel guys, high heel. It was even winter, but it wasn't snowing. There was no snow. But it was quite cold, it was chilly. So me, I was the one wearing the mini gown, short gown, feeling cold. On top of the cold, I was wearing heels. On top of the heel, I was very, very uncomfortable thinking that I overdressed. On top of that, I went to carry for Canada to eat butter. If that wasn't the end of me in life, guys, nothing can kill me again in this life. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you people. <laughs> you think it's a joke? It's not a joke. Or it was so embarrassing. Honestly, I was so embarrassed. Like, <sighs> when he just said that, what did I do? I said, yes, I want to use poker knife. <laughs> Bass <boss. laughs> And that's how I embarrassed my generation. Out. Yes, I use poker knife, but I was very uncomfortable using poker knife <laughs> because I have never used poker knife to use poker before. So like, I was very embarrassed to use poker. <laughs> I was so embarrassed because my first time meeting, meeting this person, no, not meeting in person, but like going out on a date with this person, and I just, I hope for my hands. I don't embarrass my whole generation, my whole clan. <laughs> And if it worked out, yes, I found a way to maneuver the thing. I was chopping, I was feeling fly. No, I wasn't feeling fly. I was very, very nervous, very uncomfortable. But yeah, that was the night ended. We all went our separate ways, and funny enough, we hit it off from there. We started talking, and you know, we became friends. But I never can begin to stomach that moment. Like, it's something that. The most embarrassing, in fact, it's a, it's a rank top three of the most embarrassing moments in my life, honestly. Honestly, I've never felt more ashamed of myself, in myself, for myself. <laughs> Guys, don't laugh at me. Everybody has their down times. It's always a phase in life. I came out of it. I'm a stronger and a better woman. The best believe that. <laughs> I hope you guys liked my story. It was fun talking about it, remembering that day. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Like this video. Please like. Comment down below. Share your most embarrassing moments. If you want to, I'll be eager to hear them. I'll be eager to read them. And subscribe, guys. Subscribe. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until the next time I come across the screen again. Stay beautiful. Stay happy. I love you all. Bye.